All right guys, so keeping up with the momentum, I'm gonna go ahead and do a few more unboxings today of uh, some accessories that I purchased way back before our, we even got our Sienna. Here we have a few options. And we have a few of these boxes right here. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick here. Oh, this is the center console, the tray, the organizer. So I'm gonna go ahead and that on this is again I talked about it but where is it? here we have the Lux diamond quilted right here here we have what is this I believe this is the organizer or the tray right behind the nine inch tablet style infotainment the old school style infotainment yes so that is it based on the size of the box here it is very simple packaging very simple you have like Kind of like um, some rubber mats that you put here and here. But I'll get into further detail. These are kind of like just um, headrests, hooks that you go ahead and hook on behind the headrest. So you could, uh, I guess, put like jackets or whatnot. So these have really good reviews on Amazon as well. So I'll leave everything in the description down below, but kind of like a surprise, kind of, I'm not sure about this project right here. But if I decide to do it, here we have a wheel cover. Now I know, why are you gonna put a wheel cover on top of a wheel cover, right? Because the, the Sienna, the, the all-wheel drive XSE, all-wheel drive platinum, like so, so forth, has like chrome uh, wheel caps. So I plan to go ahead and replace the wheel caps with this one. It's very inexpens in inexpensive. I hope it works, but follow me. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Right, so overall, here's the car. Can you get the rear wheel? Yep, wide angle. Um, here's how the car looks with chrome wheels and how it looks with black <laughs> wheel covers. And I can't, and I, we just don't have the, I definitely don't have the budget for new wheels, you know, and plus it's like a family car. So I'm not gonna put too much work into it, but here it is. Here is the wheel itself, chrome versus black. I think definitely these look way better. Of course, you could go ahead and be like, hey, you could go ahead and plasti dip it, but not sure if plasti dip is actually gonna stick on this long term. All right, but we'll save that for another video. All right, so here we have a couple of modifications. I'm gonna kind of just time them up. Now, let's see if you guys can get a look at the interior. We are gonna be installing this center console tray. And how you do this, we have two USB-C and USB-A. I think you're just gonna just slip this on. Right. Or just go in first, like that. Like that. Notches right here. And you can just bring this down like that. Or, No need for anything at an angle. It just goes on perpendicular, straight down, and you're good. Is it easy to remove? Um, yeah, it's pretty easy to remove to access the bottom portion of it. Do we need a center console that deep? It'll be nice to have, but for the most part, I think we're just accessing stuff right here. A coin organizer here, some rubber mats, and then rubber mats here. Nice, and you have full access to USB-C, USB-A. Does it close up? Oh no, it doesn't close up. Is that the drawback? Let's see, do I have everything fitted correctly? Oh, okay, so I think it was, wasn't because okay so we're good we are good and here's a pass through for all your um, cables pretty nice next we have this got it from Amazon and basically it's just a slip fit type of material does it go in like this does it go in like this is it multi, does it go in the right way? Nope. 
you just kind of just fit this like that right in the middle between the armrests color matches the side a little bit more graphite gray for the leather black for this one it comes in multicolor. I think the brown one was the cheapest 10 bucks cheaper maybe because nobody's buying it but here you don't have access to the center console and it creates an armrest like so now on a side note I completely forgot why I'm getting this it's because right here just pretend we have something here like this all right and if I press it like that it's gonna go and drop down like that all right so in order to prevent this um, we have this thing here so it's nice and padded memory foam now in terms of quality it's it's not bad the leather is quilted probably not real leather but it feels pretty good it's leather on both sides it's cloth underneath has a zipper right here to possibly be able to go ahead and maybe do some cleaning the inside material well the outside feels like memory foam you press on it it's nice and firm but soft and then from there it returns to its original state uh, right here you can tell that it is like a memory foam material it's pretty nice it's not like your ordinary foam that gets soft within time this one's memory based it's very nice pretty good I like it. Definitely do like it. All right, next, next we have our the hooks that we uh, that we bought. It comes in a pack of four. So it really depends on if your if your front seats have these adjustable headrests. But Sienna does, and from here, is the camera picking it up. This. So go ahead and pick it up like so. Sorry, it's like this. Okay, so here it is. Now, what can you put on this? And like multiple stuff, like even like shopping bags. Most likely just for coats. Pretty safe. Uh, it's plastic. Pretty durable. Now, last but not least, we have the tripod all set up for a weird angle, but we have this going on right here. Um, so this, I think it just goes on, kind of slips over the infotainment system. Has a little bit of 3M tape on the corners to grab on to the edges of the infotainment system. And this tablet style kind of gets into in the way of everything, but this basically makes use of the space behind it, the void behind it. What can we put on it? I'm not quite sure. Maybe a pair of sunglasses. We could put sunglasses right here. So much, so many cubbies, and now I'm adding additional cubby. Just place it up, place it above, like so. Alright, I don't think I need the extra wide angle. I'm just gonna do that. But we have. So it kind of just goes over like that. Oh wow, so it really does go over like the infotainment system. Not sure if you guys could get a good look, but it goes over like that. That's about it. All right, so here it is. Now it goes up, it goes up like that. It slips over the actual OEM infotainment screen. And right above, here is a quick look at the above. Put on the mats. Like that. What can you put on it? That. What else can you put on it? Maybe a phone. Easy pass, not really, All right? And more rubber mats. Looks pretty good. Here it is on the side. And again, the 3M, you're supposed to rip it off to kind of stick it on, maybe to prevent it from flopping. I'll, I'll, I'll do some driving, and if it starts flopping around, making noises, then I'm gonna go ahead and, and tape it up. Is it gonna scratch the unit since it's gloss black? 
Um, I hope not. Right? Maybe I'll tape it up. Right? Maybe I'll I'll line it with felt. I'll line it with tape under here, so it won't mess up the unit. That's what I'll do. I'll line it with some felt tape right here. Now, one thing I forgot to talk about was this key fob cover that I got from Amazon. Also included with the accessories. I guess I'll include it in this video, but it came in like a bag like this, right? Compared to the 25th anniversary exclusive key fob cover that you get, right? I don't know how much it costs Toyota to make this, but it couldn't be more than like a few dollars or so. But this is their incentive for us to go ahead and buy a 25th anniversary. I'd much prefer like a plaque somewhere, but this is all we have. Some floor mats and a badge outside, right? But here's a part number if you guys want to purchase it, I'm guessing. Why do I like this one? Because I think this one is, is much, it's more lightweight. It gives you like a lightweight feel to the whole car, car fob, key fob cover in general. Even with the cover, I mean, it's still really lightweight. Um, the Toyota key itself is really nothing to write home about. Uh, they should have something like here, like a 25th anniversary, something key fob, you know? But it's very plain Jane here. Um, compared to the key fob cover, it's a nice fit. I've, I've fitted the key fob cover on this. It's a nice fit, but um, I, I, I don't know. I just, I'm not, I'm not feeling this one. Um, and overall, I just like the compactness of this and complete coverage. Uh, it's waterproof for the most part. It's not like, you know, IP rated or anything like that, but uh, splash resistance resist, resistant. It provides coverage between for the key, to key itself. It's easy to go ahead and press um, versus this one. It has cutouts for you right here, right? All that you need, but I much prefer this one. And also kind of looks pretty spiffy, right? It has like, it kind of looks like a car key, like a silhouette. Kind of reminds me of like a Tesla key. You know, the physical keys that they have. Maybe that's where this company got their design from. But again, I wish Toyota actually had something going on in here. Like a 25th anniversary. But for now, I'm going to keep this exclusive key fob cover inside the packaging. All right guys, so that is it for this accessories video. I hope it was informative. Um, anything that you could you find today, I'll link it in the description down below. It's really nice to actually have a seat right here, but here it is, um, family, family van, dad mobile, uh, the start of many videos, I think. But uh, overall, I think uh, the, uh, the accessories were top quality, uh, great reviews. I bought all of them based on reviews, so. Um, if anything, you have a question, leave them in the comment section down below. I got a lot of these ideas actually from the forums. Uh, a lot of preventatives, a lot of warnings, especially the center console pad uh, to prevent future stress from, you know, uh, having a part or to take apart the center console to retrieve like your phone or whatnot. Uh, I'm recording with my iPhone mini, so that mini right there is a prime candidate to disappear into the void. But um, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.